Oh no, the BBC might ask Doctor Who. Ask Doctor Who what? <laughs> no, they mean cancel it. Yes, the rumor comes from Gary Beekler of Nerd Ronick. And he revealed it on his live stream on January 27th. He said, according to my source, Doctor Who being canceled is on the table. So, basically, uh, they're looking at it and, well, uh, gee, how do you judge rumors like this and all that? Well, uh, Gary has had a few. And, uh, boy, I tell you, uh, that rumors about the timeless child, where it was going to go, and they're going to retcon the whole Doctor Who canon and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what they did. <laughs> so, so um, you, you got to take this seriously, uh, depending on who exactly is his source and whatnot. Um, but uh, seems to uh, stand up. But you also uh, can uh, uh, look at the metrics here and what's the situation for Doctor Who. It's not in the position it used to be. It's, it's, it's fallen off a cliff ratings-wise and uh, is in the dumpster. Uh, Doctor Who had quite a run there for a while. And uh, best of all, all that merchandising money that would come in for it. So people wanted their little Doctor Who action figures, Doctor Who TARDISes, uh, piggy bank TARDISes, all that good stuff, you know, T-shirts, calendars, whatnot. Not anymore, no. In fact, any of that stuff that does sell, it's, you know, David Tennant and Tom Baker, you know. So, um, uh, before all of this, though, uh, there was the rumor that Jody is leaving at the end of the next uh, season or series, depending on which side of the pond you're on, and uh, they would replace her with a new Doctor. And to guess is about who would be the 14th Doctor. My money's on Joe Martin. Uh, the only way that works uh, with the how they uh, narratively set it up, uh, what Chibnall has in introducing her, it stands to reason to make it that she is the future Doctor. And there is another rumor. <laughs> this one I saw on TARDIS Zone, uh, where uh, the idea is that the reason the TARDIS control room looks the way it is is because the TARDIS itself is sick and is nearing the end of its life, uh, is in dire straits and trouble. So uh, the doctor wants to restore the TARDIS uh, and goes to ancient Gallifrey. Uh, to save the TARDIS, but at the same time also get to the bottom of this story. So if that happens, and if that's the story, they probably should do some promos about that because I've decided not to watch the next series. <laughs> but if there's a promise of something like that, uh, especially if it retcons war where the Timeless Child left it, um, that would be uh, more to repair the damage that it has done. But the idea being that the TARDIS is in trouble and that it gets a reset, which would be a great way to explain the look of Joe Martin's TARDIS, which is actually a much superior control room to the one Jodie Whittaker has. And it uh, looks really great. It is very similar to the old classic Doctor Who control room for the most part. It, it changed itself over the years, but the, the style pretty much stayed the same. But uh, it, it's a better one. And so if they pursue it in that manner, that it's, oh, well, the, the TARDIS gets a reset along with the Doctor herself. Now, within the story, they said she learns a, a, an even more horrific secret that the Time Lords are keeping. And, uh, gee, what is that? Uh, well, hopefully it'll be something that retcons the whole Timeless Child crap, that it is not the Doctor. Uh, but maybe there is a Timeless Child and it's someone else. Um, my leans if you're going to do the time which I don't even think the idea of Timeless Child even if it isn't the Doctor is a good idea but if you had that that it could Susan would be a good candidate and that would weave it into the whole story of what the Doctor was doing when he left Gallifrey and all that and that she was important probably they'll reveal it's the Master after all <laughs> I don't know or Rassilon who knows whatever but uh, the reason they have to wipe the doctor's memory yet again <laughs> so that she doesn't remember this terrible secret and she's a fugitive again so the, the idea meaning that uh, as uh, Joe Martin comes in you're basically starting over from scratch where the doctor's on the run again and the time lords are looking for her um, I guess by going to ancient Gallifrey she might be able to undo the master slaughtering all the time lords yeah, that's uh, that's a 
stupid storyline too. It's such a mess. Uh, but I that might be something uh, they'll do. But time's running out for Doctor Who. If it gets canceled, what's the point? <laughs> so they're going to definitely do this uh, 13th season. And the rumor is that Jody will regenerate uh, at the end of it or maybe even in the middle of it. I don't know. I mean, they want to shake that up, but uh, probably at the end of it. But if it's going to be canceled or its future is uncertain, she can start glowing and then the screen goes to black and that's it. You don't know who she would <laughs> But for this story, I think in the way it's set up, it would make sense and follow through if you care about this sort of thing, which Chibnall has shown no ability to do so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Joe Martin would be the successor. I'm uh, hoping for Michael Sheen or Chris Marshall and all that. I understand. And yeah, uh, that would be really nice. But then again, he'd be in the hands of the same stupid writing crew that can't write themselves out of a paper bag. So it wouldn't really be much. It'd be like Peter Capaldi all over again. A fantastic actor, had the potential to be one of the greatest doctors and was ill-served for the stories he got. Although they were better than what we're getting now. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, Joe Martin, I think, would be established at that. But will Joe Martin get a series? Wouldn't that be all their virtue signaling? And then, all oh, the first black female doctor doesn't get a series. <laughs> uh, but that may be the case uh, because the damage is so bad. And the decline happened under Capaldi, and I hold that up to the scripts getting pretty lackluster and flat. Also, they didn't understand the audience they created. I like Peter Capaldi. In my opinion, he was the best of, of the New Who era uh, of the Doctors. But the, I'm you know, in a minority on that. The, the best is seen as David Tennant, and I certainly understand that. And he's certainly the most popular of the bunch. But he established a template for the show that created an audience of a particular group yes that's women <laughs> he did Doc, david Tennant's doctor was a romantic hero and women liked that it drew them in they liked that aspect of him they liked the romance between him and rose and then even when he's forced to split with her when she's trapped in the other universe and all that uh, his sadness and, and the, the lone uh, heroic man who uh, has to suffer like that it oh it broke their heart <laughs> And so stuff like that, you know, and that's it, it, that's a means by which created that female audience. Uh, and so Matt Smith takes over. He's a younger man. You still have this sort of romantic uh, teases here and there. It never really happened the way it did with Tennant and Rose, but he's still sort of there. Uh, and then he's replaced by uh, Capaldi, which I was fine with, but the idea that you were going to have romantic stories with Capaldi and Clara, well, <laughs> even though the age gap, of course, was already there by the thousands of years, <laughs> um, it, it just wasn't something uh, that they were, were going to do. So uh, I it, that was some drop off. So then their response to this, rather than giving uh, Capaldi's successor another younger man, they went with a young woman. <laughs> Say, oh, we got this female audience, and this uh, now they're gonna want to see a woman doctor. And no, that's not what they wanted, uh, and that's not what brought them in. And uh, they completely misread that, but they only cared about their virtue signaling, superficial, uh, you know, political crap, and uh, that's why they did it. The idea of a female doctor for the purposes of lore and uh, making regeneration a story and stuff like that. I would have been on board with that, and I thought there were missed opportunities there. And even with Jody, who I don't think was the right one to pick for this role, uh, might have done okay with that had they explored that of uh, just basically a man turned into a woman and uh, trying to deal with that. And if Jody could have performed the role in that manner, um, it might have won over people with and just. <sighs> and then give her actual good sci-fi stories after that you know i mean and then it would have been okay i don't know that it would have recovered fully i doubt it but i don't think it would be in the dumpster where it is now and so yeah i you know i, I love doctor who i wish there was more doctor who but there really isn't and so i and, and with the money and the troubles that the bbc is facing now losing <laughs> their licensing fee you can't uh, prosecute people for not paying it anymore and all this sort of thing. 
um, it, it, it becomes too expensive. It's already too expensive to do. And that's why there's so few outer space shows. They, those are too expensive to do, so they keep it local. <laughs> In Sheffield, apparently. <laughs> or whatever. And um, it, eventually you, you it, it runs out. And um, they have a certain standard already set for past shows. And they can't keep up with that. Uh, and they don't have the charm and wit and, and cleverness to be able to do it. Uh, even under the, uh, the constraints that happened in the classic series, which uh, did had very little money to do, and it shows, you know, there's all the sets and stuff don't look that great, but it didn't matter because the stories and the charm of the performances of the actors involved uh, carried the show. You got none of that now, so I'm afraid the only option is to cancel it. Now, maybe the compromise could be that they would follow this up with specials and that sort of thing. And uh, you, uh, Joe Martin could, could do those. Um, and eventually you get to the, uh, the, the 60th uh, special, and that'd be another special. So maybe it would just be these special episodes, yeah, maybe four a year or something like that. Um, but it, it seems the cancellation is all but uh, certain. Uh, at this point so well we'll see but as i said uh, uh gary is like a lot of youtubers they come with these rumors and some of them are sort of half true and that sort of thing and it's like the communication is a lot because it's somebody several steps removed from the actual discussion or what have you and they've gotten different deets kind of like ben affleck's coming back as batman and that turned out to be well he's going to be in the flash movie but beyond that uh probably nothing else um and which uh, boy I, I hope it does turns out he is coming back <laughs> but probably not but that's how this works out and gary called it on that timeless child and those plot points and whatnot uh that he'd heard from this guy and, uh, and of course the retconning of doc which is the absolute worst thing they could have done with the situation they're already in you got your female doctor now give her good stories they couldn't deliver on the good stories and then they do this horrible <laughs> horrible uh they wanted their own last jedi i guess <laughs> episode that just trashes uh, the series uh, in its entirety so uh, that's where they are boy yeah really write yourself into a corner so um yeah i think it's more than likely it will be canceled even if they announce uh joe martin is the, the successor the only shot for her is po possibly specials like i said if they can do that or she'll be doing stories on big finish and uh, that's probably where Doctor Who will be for the foreseeable future. Thanks for watching and listening. Say, while you're still here, why not like and subscribe and share with your many friends? Yes. Also, check out my many stores <laughs> in the link description below. Yes, where you can get t-shirts, hats, mugs, all those goodies with my artwork on them. Oh, yeah. And head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can also catch me at my podcast, Mr. Nelson Joe, on RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on BitChute.com and now on Rumble.com. Oh, my goodness. So many places to watch me and my stuff. Oh, yeah. And if that's not enough for you, well, you can follow me on many social media platforms and say hi to your old pal, Mr. Nelson.